I'm not sure if I can keep doing this. So this video is different from the other ones. What a week. Ramp up challenges on the fix and flip. I let my editor know that I won't be able to, to keep him. And it's entirely my responsibility. I was not able to deliver consistently on weekly videos at a certain time, not even with the editor's support. I'm not saying consistency is the only way, but if it's not that, your video better deliver something unmatched, something unique, something of value that lets you get away with inconsistency. I will not be able to deliver what he delivered on, uh, in terms of uh, editing quality. Um, apart from the limited editing skills, there is the sheer lack of time and energy that needs to go into these videos. I'm tired at 9 p.m. I can't work through the night like I used to, so it's unrealistic to expect weekly videos. I'll try. I'll shorten the videos. I, I was busy on the fix and flip and they might get better now that the GC gets more involved, but uh, yeah, there's only so much you can do by yourself. So, and I want to continue spending that quality time with my children. I want to get them the love and attention they need. And simply for myself too, I really love spending time with my kids. I still have an issue with work spilling over to family time. And I'd be curious to see what your thoughts are on that. With a fix and flip, I'm trying to be a compassionate and kind leader, especially to people who deserve it, because they are the backbone of our society. People that make sure we have a roof over our head. We stay warm in the winter and cool in the summer. We enjoy the space we spend the most time in, space that we often take for granted, but subconsciously and often consciously affects how we feel on a regular basis. It must be tough for most contractors who are working with challenging margins and are treated like a commodity oftentimes. I'm trying to make a difference and treat people well, however, doing that, I have to make sure I'm not put on the back burner if people bend to the greatest pressure. It seems like um, I have to be firm with contractors to stay competitive as a flipper. Back to the future of this YouTube channel. This was my first community post. Thank you for being one of my subscribers. Thanks to you, the community tab is now available since we have more than 500 subscribers. That's that's the requirement. I think now we have we are approaching like 3,000 or so. Let me know if these uh, there is any subject you would like to see more of. There were 18 votes and 89% of them went to just keep going. I did that, but an editor is not sustainable with the current business model. So it's up to me to grow it sustainably to something that creates enough value to you to be economically viable and that I enjoy doing. Many YouTubers are struggling, including the ones that are much more successful in terms of views or conversion of viewers to customers of a service or a product. I entered the market at a time that I, I think it was pretty much saturated in most subjects. Um, it was 2018, but there were a few niche subjects that got attention from niche audiences. And now the niche markets are crowded too. I love doing this, but it, it, is it viable with regards to economics and personal priorities? Maybe it's too late for flipping houses too, in a sense that it's become crowded. The market is very efficient without access to wholesale properties and other competitive advantages such as discounts on material, labor, uh, general contractor, um, or you are doing one part of the value chain yourself. Since my mental breakdown last year, I'm incredibly grateful for my family and every healthy, meaningful relationship that I have in my life. Ultimately, that's what matters to people. When people are about to die, they most commonly regret having worked too hard and not having spent more quality time with their loved ones. By the way, I recommend reading Five Regrets of the Dying by Bronnie Weir. That's it for now. 
call it one of those YouTubers sharing how hard it is to be consistent on YouTube. Call it someone who whose timing was off. Uh, call it whatever you like. I tried, I failed. Once again, I still wouldn't want to miss this opportunity ex to express myself and be of value to you. I will continue to work on ways to make the channel economically viable. My deepest thanks go to Michael Hoskin, Victor Beadle, um, Sergio Velasquez, Bill Eastman, and all the Patreon members who contributed um, financially to the channel, all the viewers that supported me, all the people that <laughs> kept going, kept cheering um, in the comments. Um, it, it really means a lot to me. So thank you for being there, listening to, <laughs> to my stories and, you know, I'm glad that it sounded oftentimes that there's something you can get a value out of this channel for you. Um, thank you very much for watching again, and see you next week.